Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Ghostbusters Playmobil review for you today. This is set 9220, the Ecto-1. And these things don't really have official set names, I've kind of noticed. They just have set numbers and then they tell you the two uh, characters or any characters that come with the set. For the guys, they give the last names and then I've noticed for Janine, she gets her first name. So, don't really know why that is. Uh, but it's a pretty fun set. I believe this was $44.99 at Toys R Us. I had a 15% off coupon, so I was able to get a little bit off. But I think it was around $45 before any kind of discount or anything. But as you can see, you get the uh, Ecto-1 here. You get Winston and Janine. You get uh, a Proton Pack for each with the... Well, you'll see everything. We'll get into it. Um, on the top of the box, they show how it fits in the... Uh, Firehouse playset, which is also available. That is set number 9219. So you can see that there. Bottom of the box, not too exciting. Just shows how you can open up the top, which of course we'll take a look at. Side of the box, not really that exciting. Just kind of shows what's going on. And then the back of the box, this is where it really shows you everything you get. You get the two figures, PKE meter, ghost trap, two proton packs, the uh, proton beam accessory for each and then you get a couple of like green slime plastic pieces I'll show you how they work and then of course you get the Ecto one it does take three AAA batteries which uh, uh, power the lights and sounds in the top which we'll show off as we take a look at this so it's really neat I like this one a lot so let's go ahead we're done with the box let's take a closer look so this set really does come with a lot of great stuff uh, first up, I'm going to take a look at the two figures that you get. You can see uh, Janine Melnitz has her last name written on the jumpsuit, as they usually do. Again, just like the Egon we saw in the previous set that I reviewed, a lot of great printing. You have, of course, printing on the front and all the way down the chest and the legs. You have great printing here on the arms. Not really a lot going on in the back. Standard articulation where the head can swivel, arms can go all the way around, and then 90 degree bend in the waist so they can sit here is winston zedmore like i said you can see he's got his last name written there again great printing all the way around not a lot going on in the back same articulation points as janine uh, of course you get a proton pack for each so you can see all the detail these are not stickers this is all paint and then you can unplug the wand from the side so I'm just going to go ahead and bring Winston in here. And basically you can see how it just clips on. Clips on pretty securely. Rattles around a little bit, but it's not going to fall off. As far as the wand goes, if you would like, you can clip it on here, which is kind of more like movie or show accurate. Or if you want, you can just have him hold it like a straight gun with this peg. Either one is possible. I, My preference is to hold it kind of like how they show on the show. I forgot to say they do have wrist articulation. The wrists can swivel, so I did forget to mention that. And then you get two of these proton beam pieces that you can fit onto the end. So it looks like he's firing the proton pack. I love that a lot. It's such a nice little effect that they toss in. Really makes it that much more impressive than just having the wand on its own. So I love that. This proton pack is exactly the same as that one. And then, of course, you do get another effect piece for that one as well. You get... This is the uh, PKE meter, which we saw again in the Egon set. It's exactly the same. As well as the Ghost Trap. You only get one in this set. It opens up exactly the same as the one we saw previously. Um, you get these four little slime kind of gack pieces now when i first opened it up they're a little sticky on the back uh, i think that's just to give them some traction but you can just kind of throw them like wherever you want if you want one of your characters to get slimed or something you can they're really just effect pieces i was kind of afraid because they're a little sticky on the back have you ever had any of those kind of toys i when i was a kid they used to have these toys that you would like throw against the wall and they would stick or you could like pull them back and they would fling and they were made out of almost like a jelly type sticky material. But the problem is after a while they would get hair and fuzz and all kinds of gross stuff all over them. So they kind of get ruined. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen with these. 
I don't think it will because they're not super sticky. Um, but I guess only time will tell if they start picking up little hairs and stuff. But I think they're neat. They're just little effect pieces that you can just kind of put wherever you like. They don't, you know, they're not permanently applied anywhere. You can just put them on. They have that little tiny, the tiniest little bit of stick just so that they adhere. But they're very easily taken off. You can move them around so that they're not permanently in place. Which I appreciate because I wouldn't want to permanently stick them all over. But they're nice. They're just little <laughs> extra slime pieces. Um, but yeah, so that's it for all the accessories that you get. I'm going to kind of put that stuff off to the side. And then we'll take a really deep look at the Ecto-1 itself. Alright, so here is the Ecto-1 itself. And I have to say, this is one of the most impressive Ecto-1 toys I think I've ever come across. The other two that I really had to compare to personally, the original real Ghostbusters Ecto-1 that came out as part of that toy line had opening doors in the front, one on each side, and you could fit two figures inside. And then the back was just kind of open and you could kind of cram, you know, equipment, ghosts, other figures. It was up to you. You just kind of crammed as much as you could in the back there. Uh, the other one I have to compare it to is the Lego build, the Lego Ideas Ghostbuster Ecto-1. And that one looks fantastic from the outside, but on the inside it doesn't really hold a lot. It was kind of a disappointment. It could hold like one figure in the front, kind of one figure here, and then maybe a backpack or so in the back. This thing has a fantastic amount of storage, and I'll show you what I mean as we go. Um, the wheels on the bottom are real, la, 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 real rubber wheels. Try to say that five times fast. <laughs> rear, I, can't, I still can't say it. Real rubber wheels for all four. Basically, you get this white plastic piece, you push the rubber tire over top of it, and then you attach it to this black piece, which is what clicks into place underneath. So you put the tires together and install them in the bottom. So that's how that works. Uh, I'm going to take this whole top section off, just because it's a little bit easier to take a look at in that respect. Uh, this is a green piece that you snap in. You affix some stickers here. Uh, these pieces, again, have some stickers, and you just kind of pop them all on. This has a little white piece that I apologize probably fell off when I was... Yeah, here it is. That's my only complaint about this. It's such a minor little thing, but this little white piece fits on top of here, but it's just very loose. Everything else fits in very snugly and securely. Like if I shake it upside down, nothing's coming off. But for whatever reason, that little siren there just comes off all the time. I don't know why. I'm just going to put it off to the side for a moment, but... Uh, so yeah, so you have kind of some little siren type pieces, this little gun up here. On this side you have these cool yellow canisters and this kind of rubber tubing. It's all stuff that you just kind of, you know, insert into it and then it, it pegs into the side here. Uh, underneath here is where you open it up and you put three AAA batteries. You can actually kind of see this the picture here for the three AAA batteries that's what goes inside and then you have lights and sound so this first one here is the lights you can see you get blue in the front and the back and then you get a little red here on the side that will go until you turn it off again the siren sound Which does eventually die out on its own, but I feel like they nailed the siren sound. It's the exact siren from the movie and the cartoon. It's just really fantastically done. And then, of course, we want to get both at the same time. And then you just press the light button again to turn it off. So I think that's really fantastic. You can see it has the little ladder on the side. All the tubes and the attention to detail, it really looks exactly like the kind of roof of the Ecto-1 that we're used to from the movie and the cartoon with all the kind of gadgets and things up top. So I think they did a fantastic job on that. Now I'm going to put this to the side just for a moment so we can take a look at the rest of the Ecto-1 here. You can see you have this kind of searchlight here on the front. You have the Ecto-1. This is a sticker here for the license plate. These are little stickers, but they come pre-applied. You don't have to worry about these. You have these little plastic uh, lens kind of caps that are plastic caps you pop in here for the headlights. You have rear view mirrors you put here. You have this antenna on the front. 
Um, this is printed. This is not a sticker, so that comes already on there. You put this little blue piece in. You just peg it right in two places, and then you have another little antenna you connect here. Now, these red fins are already uh, affixed to this when you get it, but you put in these little clear red lamps for the brake lights. And then this is another sticker down here, this Ecto-1 license plate sticker. The ghost on the back door here is also paint, as is this one on this side. So they come already apply their paint. Uh, this opens up like a hatch. You pop the door on when you put it together, but otherwise it stays on pretty quick. You can see here in the back, if we take the hose off the ghost trap, there is a spot perfectly for it to fit right there. You can put your PKE meter in here. You can even put the like other part of the ghost trap, all that stuff. I'm just going to kind of dump it all out. But there's spots for all of that, which I really appreciate. And then if we take a look at the inside here, you can see there's two figures can sit here. And then you can have two figures sit here. And then all four proton packs, they basically just sit on top of this. You just kind of sandwich it or you just pop it right on there. Just like you're putting it on the back of a figure that didn't have a head. But you can see, and I'll see if I can get this to, yeah, the light's going to get crazy, but that's a little bit better. Um, you can fit all four proton packs. So this is the only Ghostbuster toy. I guess the real Ghost, the real Ghostbuster original Ecto-1 could fit all four if you just mashed them all in the back. Um, but you, this actually has a spot for all four proton packs that looks fantastic. And you can fit all four Ghostbusters in the seat, as well as having spot for a ghost trap and a PKE meter. I mean, that's a fantastic amount of storage for this. And that's what really impressed me the most, because it's just so well designed. The interior is so well designed. It's a perfect length. You can see the two car doors here, as well as the back hatch. But it doesn't look too long or, or ill-proportioned. It just works so perfectly. And then if you go ahead and pop this right back on, sits on there very easily, rolls perfectly well. Here I'll bring the Ghostbusters back in so you can see how they sit. We'll have, we'll have Winston sit here in the back. Now you can see how this works. Let's see if I can get that to go again. These little lines here, the legs go on either side and that kind of keeps them in there because it uses, you know, natural friction to get them to sit into place. And then we'll have Janine drive. So the, it's a little bit more difficult to get a, a figure in because of the wheel, but you can get it to happen. And I apologize because my lights are gonna get goofy now. But I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put her arms straight down just because it's easier. Um, Well, like I said, it's difficult with the wheel. Maybe if I angle it a little bit. There we go. You can see her in there now driving. And then you can put the arms up after the fact. That might be a little bit easier. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. She's driving. So that looks fantastic. I really appreciate the fact that you can fit four Ghostbusters in here. If you really wanted to... Uh, if you didn't care about a trap or a PKE meter, you could technically get a, a fifth Ghostbuster <laughs> lying down in the back if you wanted to. You don't have to, but it's, it is an option. So this just really impressed me. The design, um, the, you know, the, the size of it is a good size. It's a storage capacity. Everything fits in there so nicely. And I just, I absolutely love it. I really have nothing to complain about it. All the accessories, well, okay, I have one thing to complain about, this stupid thing. I wish that was a little bit tighter. Uh, maybe, I don't know, there's probably some way I could figure something out. Or maybe just a little bit of crazy glue, because I don't need it to come off. So maybe just a little bit of crazy glue to, just to keep that on. Um, but that's like the, the minorest uh, nitpick that I have. Everything else about this thing is just a lot of fun. Playmobil is really kind of crushing it with these licensed Ghostbuster sets. I hope they keep going. Everything I've seen so far, I've been really impressed with. I'm definitely going to get the rest of the ones that are available. I'd love to see sets based off, you know, the animated series. They could do 
um, real Ghostbusters sets where they had the colored jumpsuits. They could do sets from Ghostbusters 2. They could do sets from the new uh, female Ghostbusters from 2016. I'd buy all of them. I mean, I think they're really fun. They do a great job with these. I'd love to get, like, the female uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-1 that was made out of the hearse. That would be a really cool set. They could do the Chinese food um, restaurant base that they have in the movie. It's just, the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, they're, it's so fun. I don't buy a lot of Playmobil stuff. In fact, I don't think I've really bought any Playmobil stuff before the Ghostbusters sets. But the Ghostbusters sets are so good that it's making me reevaluate some other things that Playmobil does. If they got a Ninja Turtle license, I'd freak out. That would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. I love this set. I highly recommend it. I love all the accessories it comes with. I love the look of the Ecto-1. Everything about this is just a lot of fun. Get the lights going. Look at that. That's fantastic. I even love the way it dies out. It's fantastic. I can't say enough good things. If you have any interest in Playmobil or if you just love Ghostbusters stuff, pick this up. It's a ton of fun. I can't recommend it enough. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Ecto-1 from Playmobil. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.